Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Legends of Runeterra video, this time featuring a deck I call Heart of Stone. This is a Galio and Udyr deck as it champions, and this deck is all about having a really powerful board presence and hopefully leveling up Galio, which isn't that difficult with this deck at all, and you're gonna see it in the games to come. And you know, Galia effect is really, really powerful. You level them up, you damage some units, and then they get rallied. And then you get to rally and destroy your opponent. It's a really good deck right now, and you didn't read incorrectly. This deck currently have an 85% win rate across seven games with the finalized version, because I used to have another version. Like, the first iteration of this deck was was good, it was solid, but it didn't perform as well as this one. This is the finalized version, this is the version that I find to be most effective against the meta. And honestly, really fun deck, really, really powerful. And let's go over it and go over the cards. So, as you can expect from any Galio deck, you run the formidable package, you get a 3 Petricide Hound, you got the Petricide Broadwing. Uh, you got two Durant Protégé, we're gonna talk about her later. And we got one copy of Gorlift the Unscalable, just, you know, against those games that last basically until turn 10, which aren't that many right now, because Karma Seth did get nerfed, and even though the deck is still really good, people are just not really running it right now. So, one copy of Gorlift, you know, just to be safe, no need for two, because it costs nine mana, it's a lot. And, of course, three copies of Galio. So, what do we have outside of that? We got the Udir and the Udir package. So, we have the Stance Swap uh, Master, the Hydra Allseer, Random Summon, create a Stance Swap in the hand. The first Stance Swap you play, each round costs zero. Uh, this is a phenomenal card against decks that, you know, uh, stall the game, because y you don't want to recall the Hydra Allseer, right? If your opponent recalls the Hydra Allseer, he just does your favor, because you get another zero-cost stance swap, and he doesn't want that. And also, it's a 5-5, five -five, so it's not that worth of a recall. It, you just play him for the <clears throat> the effect, that you, you when a summon effect. So, your opponent really doesn't know what to do against it, so that's a really powerful card. You only have two copies because most of the matchups are mid-range or aggro, and you don't want to see this card against them most of the time. You want to see those earlier cards. You want early game aggression. Uh, even though this is a mid-range deck, I mean, when I say aggression, I mean you got to have a board presence, right? you got to keep attacking. This is a Demacia deck after all. You gotta keep attacking, you're gonna constantly attack your opponent and apply pressure, make him spend a lot of mana of trying to deal with your units. And then, of course, using the many combat tricks we have in this deck to save your units. So, three copies of Form Up, uh, three copies of Inner Beast, of course, and three copies of Shield of Durand. Really powerful combat trick, especially with a formidable uh, base deck. This card just shines, it's insane. For 3 mana burst speed, you grant, not give, grant an ally plus 3 health, at the, and if that ally survives to the next round, it grants him plus 2 as well. That's 5 HP on a burst speed 3 mana. That's insane. That's insane. And in formidable deck, this card just twice the power, because essentially the health being converted into attack value. So that's insane. Uh, other than that, what do we have? Three copies of Stony Suppressor. Now, I have to admit, I have built this deck uh, just <laughs> for the Stony Suppressor alone. This card is just insane. It's really powerful uh, against any spell-based deck right now, which are many in the meta. Basically, every second deck you're gonna go against is a spell-based deck. I didn't see many uh, board-based decks right now. Maybe I just had some luck, but... Every deck I played against is a spell-based deck. Uh, Stony Suppressor just demolished those decks uh, because you just slam it. Everything costs one more. And if you somehow manage to get two of them on board, your opponent just concedes because you can't do anything. Everything costs two more. So, very powerful card, but you just need to be careful and know the matchups uh, in which to keep him or mulligan and play him. You can use him as a blocker. He's still solid. Even against non-spell-based decks, this card is pretty solid. I mean, making everything your opponent uh, do cost one more, it's really, really, really good. 
Uh, it does come with a price because it's a double-edged sword. You know, everything you cast costs um, one more as well. But this deck is built in a way that you don't really get that hurt by that by that effect. So still, really, really powerful effect. Incredible card. Absolutely in love with this card. Now, in terms of weaponry, we got the Darkened Spear, three copies. Now, I know you probably expected to see the... Uh, the ages oh wait the ages now i've seen every every deck i've seen that a galio udir deck run two copies of this card not three copies two copies um and this card is you know it's good but i i just rather have the run protege it does exactly the same thing but it comes with a body now you can argue that the dark and ages does do have a body it's a five mana four three with this effect but you don't really need it, right? I mean, you just rather have the the body and the three drop, which we do, which are we lack in this deck. We lack a three drop, so this just filled in the spot so nicely, and I think this is way better than the Dark in Ages. But if you disagree, you can take off the two copies and just put the two copies of the Dark in Ages. It's you know to your consideration. Now we do have the Combat Cook. Uh, just for the 4-drop, we needed a 4-drop, and he came in perfectly. He's really, really, really good. He gives you a weapon, he forges it after he dies. And I mean, he forges it when he summoned, but after he dies, you get a forged weapon, which goes really far with this deck, because this is a board-based deck. And two copies of the Mountain Drake, another really sick, formidable unit, really good. Uh, but we only have two copies because we have three copies of Fudir. We don't want to hog up the five mana slot too much. So two copies, again, great board presence, phenomenal card. You buff him, he gets incredibly powerful. Very good. And oh, one thing to mention about the Darkin Spear is that it gives to health, which is incredible uh, for two mana. And of course, when you attack, you get uh, the, two, the top two allies in your deck plus one plus one, which you want. Of course, it's a board based deck. And you can always play him for the Anaka, which is uh, Anaka, yeah. Uh, sorry if I butchered the name. Uh, when he attacks from the top uh, six cards of your deck, you summon an, no, uh, an attacking follower or non-champion Darkin uh, and grant it plus one, plus one. So you basically just summon a unit from uh, the top six car cards of your deck. You buff it and, you know... It summoned it, it when it summoned it, it's attacking, so that's phenomenal in this deck because that's what you want to do. You want to keep applying pressure. So, this is pretty much the deck. What you want to do with this deck, you want to create some stances. Uh, don't force creating your stances, you don't use Inner Beast if you don't need it in combat. You can wait. Uh, you definitely want the Udyr on board as fast as possible. You want to build a board, and if you don't want to attack and lose units, don't. If you have a Galio in hand, just keep it. Keep it until you, you get to 7 mana. Build up a board and then slam Galio for the sick summon effect because it grants other allies plus 3 health. So if you can wait a few turns, and you know, not, not many turns, like don't wait the whole game just to slam a Galio, obviously. Keep applying, you need to keep applying pressure. But if you can wait a turn or two just to slam Galio on a full board, that's incredible. You get so much value and Galio just instantly level up, right? So, again, this is an insanely powerful deck as far as I've seen and experienced. It's a really, really, really fun. And, you know, this deck is not that difficult to play. Just play your units. Be smart with the decision, uh, uh, you know, about the stand swap. Don't uh, get overexcited and attack. If your opponent passes with full mana, you should pass. That's totally fine. You need to build a board and slam Galio and protect your units. That's the most important thing. If you can, now I will say, if you can get the regeneration with a stand swap, you should always go for it. The overwhelm should come last. You don't really use the ram stance and the bear stance, especially the bear stance. There is no reason to use that one in this deck. Uh, the Ram Stance can be used on a level up Galio to rally. Because, just I'll show you real quick. Uh, each round, the first time an ally takes damage, rally. So you can use the, uh, the, Ram, stan uh, the Ram Stance just to, you know, deal damage to everything and rally. 
but you most of the time you just want to regenerate you want to give your allies regeneration that's your first priority always and the second priority should be the wild claw stance to give them overwhelm even if they are formidable that's fine you just want the overwhelm um phenomenal phenomenal card so this is pretty much the deck i don't think there's many to talk about you know it's a pretty straightforward deck buff your units uh, keep them safe. That's the most important uh, thing in this deck. Just keep your units safe until you slam Galio. If you can try to level up Galio, you should go for it. Like you, it even worth skipping an attack just to just to level him up because you get a rally. So you essentially get it, this attack back. And that's pretty much the deck. Ex uh, the, de the deck guide. So there's nothing else to talk about. Um, this deck was really fun to play, really high win rate. I hope you guys try this deck and have fun with it, like, just like I did. And let's continue into the games. Shivana. <clears throat> Dragon's Reach for it. Freljord. That's interesting. Okay. I'm gonna keep an Udyr. Oh, what a... Oh, what a hand. What a hand. Okay. Galio is interesting. So let's see what he plays here, because that that would actually change my plays. We were red to, to honor the fallen. fallen. Uh, yeah, I can play a weapon here. Now he can attack. I, I want to keep some mana for the Shield of the Rend. Oh. Okay. That was unexpected. So now we're gonna play Udir. Nice, another weapon is sick. Uh, oh wait, I thought I have five mana for some reason. Okay, so he forges. <clears throat> okay, so I definitely need to combat cook here. Sick. Uh-huh. Yeah, I need to take that. Yep. Formidable, my boy. Battle! Count me in. And that's an open attack. I don't want to play Udir. I want to make him buff or use resources. <clears throat> because I'm in a really good spot. Okay. Interesting. Blood, Demacia Demacia heart. Gather spirits. Gather. Ooh. Okay. So. Oh. Wow, that's actually insane. Yeah, that have to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured. Come on, there is no other play, my man. There is no other play. Okay, she levels up. Ah, uh, maybe I should have waited. Ah, I was greedy. Never mind, I got still a very sick play. And that's a Galio. That's definitely a pass, right? I want to level up Galio and then win. Dun -dun.
Dude, come on. It can't be that hard. So Galio is leveled up, so seven if I had uh okay. Never mind. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want him to get to enlightened status. Let's do this. Yeah, that's definitely the play. I have no idea what he can have in 10 mana that actually wins him the game. I am okay, sure. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let that through. There we go. Now we can't fight with a Shivana. Sick. Magic comes in and and might comes out. Alrighty. And that's a Gorlif. My friend here is the strong silent type. Ooh. You got a Gorlif, you always got a Gorlif. Oh, okay, so you do run it. That's weird. Why would you run this card? Like fun. Okay. Yeah, that was extremely weird. Why why would you run this card in the deck? What? Yeah, that, that made a zero sense. Okay. I guess I'll do that. What? Like you have the combo with the landmark destruction? That's so weird. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. From the skies. You you didn't think about the rally? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> what? Oh my god, his deck was so weird. Wow, I that was fun. Okay. Karma Seth. Interesting. Okay, this is the PNZ version. So, we need insane early. That's not an insane early. I need a playable. Okay, that's, that's really bad. That's literally the highest curve I have in my deck. Oh no. Okay. Well, everything just counts on the next thing I draw here, or I lose the game on the spot. Stony. Okay, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. 
attacking. Defending. Interesting. Okay. Uh, why would you defend? Uh, okay. We heal the stony. Sure. That's fine. Mm hmm. So, if I play an Odir, he's plays Seth, so that's fine. Heed my call! Yeah, definitely doing this, because Odir's gonna get recalled. So, I don't wanna use any mana to buff him. Or just straight up dies, yeah, that's uh, something. Yeah, if I play the weapon, he would have just get recalled, so it doesn't matter. So we play the Hydra Alseer. Down from the cloud touched mountain, I am here. Ain't no fight I can't win. Mm hmm. Go for it. Sick. I still see fate here for you. Okay, Stony Suppressor definitely the play here. Into the Drake. Nice. Mm hmm. Okay, so one of them gets recalled. Oh no, you can't recall actually. Oh, great. Nice. Sick. Okay, now definitely regen this one. And now we start applying tons of pressure with Galio before he reaches uh, 10 mana. And the gore lift is actually insane. So, Galio. Die out for. Now he recalls one of them because there's literally no other way you can deal with this board. Dude, the stony suppressor is doing God's work here. Yep. Oh, I'm one off. Oh, that sucks. Well, you're gonna play this. He have to deal with that. And again, I'm just wasting every single bit of mana he have. Okay. Oh! Oh, what? so perfect. Oh my god, that's perfect. Yes. Oh my god, that two stop. <laughs> The stone is a bastard. He can't do anything. <laughs> you don't mess with the Marcia. Oh my god, that two stone is that's perfect. He can't do anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's exactly what I had in mind when I put Stony Suppressor in this deck. That's exactly what I had in mind. Uh, team of Caitlyn. Interesting. Well, I do have challengers, so... That's actually pretty good. What? What? Dude, always when I mulligan, I get the same stuff. I actually got those two again. Oh, damn, that's a really nice draw. Oh, he doesn't have a Teemo. Sick. And I have a really nasty attack here. Oh, that's kind of sucks. That's fine. I have the buffs to protect him. So hopefully he wastes something here and we, you know, save him. Caitlyn is Omega fine. Mm 
Sure. Had to get it out of him. Now I'm am kinda counting on not drawing a flash bomb, though even if I draw one it's not the end of the world here, actually. Yeah, I know it was uh, it was so obvious. Yeah. Oh wait, I have no playable. Oh god. Okay, he did pass. That's actually good. Scoping the area. Mm -hmm. So that's an Udir moment. I actually don't care about Flash Bomb, I, I just care about the Puff Caps. So that's actually great. That's fine. Okay, now I'm safe, right? Now I can just do this. Uh huh. <clears throat> Definitely this. I want to get out of the, you know, the weird range of the obliterate. Sick. Okay, let's pass here. You might have the obliterate. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he saves, he's clearly saving mana for the obliterate. Do live a one. Count me in. Nice, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Timo gotta go. Wow, this is uh, wow! I had such, I had such a disgusting start. Yeah, now we give the region to Galio. Yeah, I had, I had the worst uh, action, the worst start. But it's a good thing he doesn't have removal against uh, high HP unit. Okay, so we give Galio the tough, right? I'm still learning, but I'll help if I can. Such a tiny human, but such a noble spirit. I assume he's going to try to kill her. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. <laughs> That's it. Fuck. Nice. Force him to defend. And next turn I start giving overwhelm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Definitely a Galio combat. Okay, this still doesn't save him. Unless you have two of them. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I respond. <laughs> okay, he wasted everything. That's just the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Did you really think I don't have a buff? Get out mess with the Mossia! Oh uh, god, what, what a weird game. What a weird game. And that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, if you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe for more uploads. It really helps the algorithm when you do. And I just want to say I read all your comments because, you know, there's only two. <laughs> but I read all of them. And thank you so much for the nice things you say. It really do it does keep me going. And this channel is, you know, it's fresh, right? I only started uploading uh, since last month, I believe. No, the end of April. So a month and, you know, a bit more than a month. 
and I got a lot of love. I feel like I got a lot of love. Honestly, I'm almost reaching uh, 100 views on every video I make, which isn't, you know, doesn't seem that much, but it's incredible for me. That's huge growth. And, you know, <laughs> I really hope to just upload more content. I really love doing this. This is really, really fun because I really do love this game and uploading content for it just make it way more spicier, makes it way more fun. And that's honestly all I had to say. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.